I had my first baby in 2012, January, but it was in the East. During that period, I went through here. This is Ondo State, Nigeria. Mother and Child Hospital Ondo, you are welcome. The vision, the mission. I am Mrs. Matilda Onubakende, the Head of Nursing Services, Mother and Child Hospital Ondo in Ondo State, Nigeria. This is the card point where people come in and obtain their cards and move to the casualty. Our goal is to meet the targets of Millennium Development Goals 4 and 5. My name is Ms. E. Okbara. I'm from Mimo State. I reside in, in Lefoshin State. I had my first baby in 2012, January. But it was in the east. During that period, I went through here because I was in labor for three days. And the doctor used a machine to force the baby out inside the womb without no computer, nothing. He was just doing it on his own. And there, the, he now injured the baby forehead, burst my bladder, damaged a lot of things in my, in my stomach. There was a lady that gave birth to this hospital last week. What I heard her say that they went abroad to deliver. I was so surprised. How can someone went to Undo State and deliver a baby and came back and said that they went abroad? She said that we should go and witness it. That when you came there, you will believe that you are outside Nigeria. So, and since yesterday we came here, I'm seeing it. Even my other brother that brought us here, she also videoing everything here. She was recording everything because He's so surprised about the hospital. I don't even know that such a thing is existing in Nigeria, but I'm so surprised to see it. And I thank God for the governor who made it possible for pregnant women to come and deliver here. Even though based on the management, if it's everything about it, and still yet I heard that everything is free. Yeah, I can tell me that inshallah. And the show day of uh, antenatal clinic, OPD, and the cervical spring and breast cancer spring unit. You can see the pregnant women now, they are waiting for the clinic. We are starting our clinic by two. You can see a lot of them now waiting for the two of our clinic, pregnant women. Our goal is to meet the targets of Millennium Development Goals 4 and 5. And we give safe and standard healthcare services. This is casualty. When people come in for emergency, this is where we stabilize them. And from here we can either discharge or take them to the wards for admission. That's what it was. You know, I said it the other time that that one is for emergency when they are to be admitted, they bring them there. Put them on the breast and the mothers that are in their babies. And the pregnant women too, that's their own place there. Anyone they want to admit there for an emergency, and later before they transfer them to the antenatal ward. This is the hallway. You can see it's very neat. This is antenatal ward in this side. This is antenatal ward. It's for the pregnant women that are sick. We put them on bed for medical treatment and most especially for bed rest. The upper part is for postnatal ward and NICU. This is a postnatal ward. This side is for normal deliveries and the other side for uh, cesarean sections. And you can see our cleaners making everywhere to be neat and tidy. 
can see all our beds now very neat. Everywhere is very neat. So every morning, we give them health talks. Or now they take care of their baby. How they take care of themselves. How they watch themselves when they get home. Their private part, their breast, and all this stuff. All make everywhere clean when they get home. So that the baby will not be infected and the mother's too will not be infected. My name is Dr. Lawalo Ineng. I'm a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist and uh, the pioneer chief medical director of the Mother and Child Hospital, Laje Road, Undo. I had my um, undergraduate education at the College of Medicine, University of Lagos. Subsequently had my internship at the Lagos University Teaching Hospital and subsequently went for my uh, National Youth Service Corps, uh, which I completed at the Federal Medical Center in uh, Idiaba, Bekuta. Um, almost immediately afterwards, I was lucky enough to have uh, passed my primaries in um, professional exams and that uh, allowed me to start my residency training in obstetrics and gynecology at the Lagos University Teaching Hospital and uh, became a full-fledged fellow of the West African College of Surgeons uh, Faculty of Obstetrics and Gynecology in 2003 and the National Postgraduate Medical College in uh, 2004. Now what we need to do now is track the placenta. So this is placenta. It's more to that side. It seems to be, yes. More to the left side. Mm. So, so it will so go a, a right par medium. It's stopping here. Mm. Okay. Mm. Stopping somewhere here. Yeah. That's so it. it's it's more of this side. Yeah. It is not here. So the best bet would be to do a right paramedian, mm. like you said. So we verified the pastor is more on the left side. Mm. And uh, the idea is to try and go through the incision on the left, uh, the right side. So that we try and bring out the baby without disturbing the, the placenta. And I think with that, with a little bit of prayers. You are going to do something like a hypotensive technique to reduce blood loss. But generally speaking, you start with what you call crash induction. In crash induction, you want to prevent aspiration to the lungs. It's also called rapid sequence induction. So when you do that, in trial, you try to do what you call hypotensive anesthesia to a very large extent to reduce blood loss, especially when the baby is out. The services we offer are essentially in obstetrics, care, and allied fields as well as um, pediatrics, medical illness of uh, children between the age of 0 and 5 years. So um, I must tell you that it's been quite an experience. Uh, as at the 31st of May 2014, which is roughly about 16-17 um, months of operations, we've been able to uh, attend to almost 30,000 patients, uh, including uh, about uh, 20,000 children, and more than 10,000 uh, pregnant women. Olukomini Mrs. Adiola Onyade Moani Mother and Child Hospital Wondo. You know me do lati wasibi, especially lati bi omo mi wasibi ati lati bi mo sibi. Lati ba ti mo ti lo yu mo ti take ya mi ni Mother and Child Hospital ti ti mo fi bi mo. Ti o ba she o pa lo pe mi mi ko to ko Mother and Child Hospital ah mi mo ko ti ba she le se mi ati omo. You know me ade do ti mo government. Commanding the mother and child all over Nigeria because mother and child is one of the best hospitals in Nigeria. Mother and child is a beautiful place, and I'm glad that you know something like this is in Nigeria. This is the waiting area where the relatives stay. We make sure they are comfortable. You can see them sitting down and watching television. We have toilets and their bedrooms where they can take care of themselves and relax after taking care of their patients. And you can see them watching television in a relaxed mood. This 
this is labor room for our patients for safe deliveries. We have about five cubicles in this place and we take care of them till they go back home with their babies hale and hearty. The babies in this outborn unit are babies born outside Mother and Child Hospital. When they are sick, they are being brought here and they are well taken care of. And these are their mothers. They delivered outside Mother and Child Hospital. This is neonatal unit where we take care of the new needs, especially the preterm babies. And you can see them all in the incubator, and you can see the mothers holding their baby. They are well taken care of. And you can see the nurses and the doctors in the cubicles. We also render services on family planning. We do immunization for children, and we lecture them on good diet and good hygiene. In the case of the HIV, we tell them what is HIV especially the pregnant women that we use to take their blood sample on Wednesdays for the HIV test. We educate them what HIV is and we tell them what we are going to do, how they can contact it and for those people that have, we have the free treatment here that we give to the mothers. My name is Dr. O.F. Ayodeji. I'm a senior consultant, obstetrician, gynecologist at the Mother and Child Hospital Undo. Primarily, our job here is to see to the health of pregnant women, both in pregnancy and uh, labor and delivery, and uh, to look after children that are under five. And they are all looked after free of charge by the state government of Dr. Olushegun Mimiko. And we have safely delivered, we thank God for that, almost 5,800 uh, women in this facility. Uh, out of that number, 1,200 or thereabouts were by Caesarean section. And we're talking about free services in terms of free um, consultations, free admissions, free drugs, free blood tests, free blood transfusions, and free surgeries. And uh, it's, it's, it's without a doubt uh, quite a noble uh, project that is there to the heart of our caring heart governor, uh, Dr. Olusha Bunimiko. The government gave us a mandate similar to the one that was given to us in Mother and Child in Akure, and that is to run an integrated maternal and child care facility, fully poised to offer qualitative and critical interventions where required towards reducing maternal and child mortality in Ondo state and environs. Esther had uh, a previous operative delivery because her bones were too small for the baby to pass through. By the time she had that first delivery by operation, the baby could not come down, what we call obstructed labor. So as babies get, tend to get bigger in subsequent pregnancies, it therefore means that this delivery will of necessary, uh, necessity be by operative delivery and all her subsequent deliveries too. So that's why we are doing operation now. All I, I can tell you is that we care and it's only God that heals.
Happy place. She must have had a cesarean section in the right womb. That, but because the wombs were compromised because they were abnormal, she sustained a ruptured uterus even before she went to labor. And that was the time we got to see her. And because of the difficulty in repairing that womb, we had to remove the womb. And lo and behold, nature took over because the previously uh, rudimentary womb that was poorly developed now became developed and accepted this present pregnancy. And when we got in, we found out that the baby was actually in that womb, which was Ithato on the left side of the woman. And my time says 9.45 a.m., 1st of July 2014. The surgery has been done. Hmm? So uh, we thank God, which is most important, that the baby is fine. And the woman, by God's grace, should do well. It's uh, quite an amazing case, and once again, obstetrics is quite humbling. Auntie. Mumbo, what's the question? has been succeeded. We see the child, which is a, we see the daughter. She said, Daughter, she's a very beautiful daughter. It's a gift of nature that God gave to me. And the name of child, I conclude all what they have been calling the child. I call it mercy. We are achieving what the governor wants to achieve, and we are even achieving it in all the modern child and even nearly all the facilities now. In the rural areas, they are doing their BA uh, programs there. Yeah? So I think we are really achieving it. I had my first baby in 2012, January, but it was in the East. During that period, I went through here. Ever be kira fuma mami.